YouTube. It's covered in credits. We're back. We did a double feature. Today. Don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. We did do a double feature. Um, break into the two videos. Both will be up. We have been here for years. As we have. We have been here for years. Two to be exact. Um, <coughs> let's do the first movie we did today, which... Uh, was Lego Batman. The Lego Batman movie. I didn't want to see it. Now, the way it works with Kevin and I, there are times where there are movies that one of us will be like, we're not seeing that. Like, when Alien Covenant comes out, I know Kevin's going to be like, I'm not seeing it. And I'll be like, that's fine. I'll go see it, maybe, probably. Uh, but then there are other times <laughs> where there's that borderline movie, and one of us goes, I don't want to see it. And the other one goes, well... I'm going to pull your ticket for this one and make you see this. But the upside of that is it'll also reverse itself next week. I don't want to, I'm not looking forward to seeing Great Wall. Kevin wants to see it. I'm like, fine, you go see Lego Batman with me today, and I'll go see Great Wall with you next week. So you'll see a Great Wall review next week. So back to what we are saying, the Lego Batman movie, Batman's my favorite comic book character. I was super excited about this because I know from the Lego movie that the idea of deep cuts as in very, very, not minuscule, but very, very like obscure. That's the word I'm looking for. Obscure characters, obscure references are going to be in this movie. And, and they were in wholeheartedly. There's full a fashion. lot of obscure references. So funny though. So funny. Would you agree with that? I didn't think it was that funny, but it was definitely pretty good. I Okay, what I mean is, though, the Batman references, referencing older movies, referencing uh, specific characters that you're just like, that they shouldn't be real, but they are. Uh, make it, that was a joke they made. Mm -hmm. At one point in time, they rattle off a bunch of villains, and then Alfred turns and goes, and they're all real, and Joker goes... Google it. It's like the fact that they're extremely self-referential. Extremely self-referential. I liked. Uh, it's a funny movie. It's good. It's a feel-good movie. Animation's good. I always like the way they do that with the quick building and things like that when they need. Uh, it's definitely a, a feel-good movie. Yeah. And you know it has that sort of riding the line between like an adult comedy and a kids movie. There are definitely references that kids aren't necessarily going to get mm -hmm. and that's probably for the better. Probably for the better. Um, but there are but I mean but it's not like this is a movie you can't take your kids to either. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say it's a kids movie. Uh, and, and if you're a Batman fan you'll like this movie. It's fun. I mean would, would you recommend going to see it in theaters? I wonder what the 3D is like. I could see the 3D being interesting in a Lego movie. No, no. We saw the 2D version. Uh, truthfully, we thought we were in a regular showing of 2D, and I think we were, but up until, what, five, 10 minutes in the movie? Yeah. They had all the lights on in the theater, and we thought maybe we just accidentally got tickets for the like lights on kids showing, but there weren't that many kids, and then they realized the lights were on and kicked them off as the movie was going, like, all right. Um, but yeah, I, I would say no, it's a, it's a feel good family movie yeah, um, yeah. with some pretty obscure humor in it. Very. I mean, just some of the references though, you're talking any Batman, even the Adam West and Burt Ward 66 Batman gets good jokes in it. And uh, I just, the voices are great. The acting is really, really good. Um, uh, I just... It's funny when, as a Batman fan, I know of some of these crazy villain characters. Condiment King and, and uh, uh, Calendar Man and the Crazy Quilt. And, Calendar Man. And those are Calendar all Man. very real characters, either in older renditions of comics or cartoons or none of the movies, thankfully, yet, other than this one. Um, but... It's just an enjoyable movie. If you like, if you like Batman at all, this is a movie you're gonna have fun with. Uh, even if it's just casually, and you've liked seeing the movies, this is a movie you're gonna have fun with. Uh, I would say 
you know, if there's a couple, if there's, if there's two different movies you're looking forward to seeing in the theater this week, maybe choose the other one and wait until this comes out. This isn't a movie you have to see in theaters, I don't think. No, it's it's definitely just a it's a it's a feel good movie. It's sort of meh. Yeah. I got the meh feeling out of it. Yeah, I mean, what would you what would you rate it? I'd give it probably a seven. I don't yeah. think it really deserves a six. I would say, yeah, I would agree. Wasn't I would be, I would be. At it's s- not really my bag. See, I would, I'd probably go eight. That's why Stairs had to con me. I would going. probably go eight only because I'm the Batman fan, and this just hits everything that I'm wanting it to. <coughs> but what I would hope is, if you've seen this movie, let us know what you think. If you like the Lego Movie, there's another movie you're going to enjoy. Um, it's just, it's fun and happy, go lucky and. They they play it up well and uh, with really funny music numbers, not singing, but like references when something happens and there's like some song out of left field and Kevin and I look at each other to start laughing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we recommend seeing the movie and if there's nothing else you want to see in theaters, by all means, see it. Check it out. Yeah, it's good. Solid. We uh, will have another review up today and like like normal like and subscribe if you watch this movie put some in the comments tell us what you think uh follow us on facebook follow us on twitter follow us on instagram um and until next time thanks for staying alive to the credits could it could it